Hey YouTubers, just coming at you of why you should never run out of oil. Inside your oil tank is usually about four, six inches of garbage on the bottom of your tank. So if you think of it as you have this whole tank that's real big, 275 gallons worth or bigger, and on the bottom is a cushion of junk. You don't want to disturb that junk. So if you leave your tank at a quarter tank, which is probably a foot and a half of oil, when your oil man comes to deliver the oil, the oil won't stir the bottom of that tank. We're gonna show you some images that'll let you see what it looks like on the bottom of those tanks, and it's horrible. It would make a billy goat puke. It's that horrible. So don't do it. Now let me show you other reasons why. You're gonna drain all that garbage down to one little valve in the bottom of the tank that has about an eighth to a quarter inch hole in it. And you're gonna to try to get that tar-like substance through there. It's not gonna work well for you. As soon as it leaves that, it goes through this filter, which does not have any holes in it. It's made to make the oil soak through and go through. Well, it can't soak through if it's dipped in road tar. Got it? So that's reason number two you don't want to do it. Reason number three, and we're going to show you a picture of that too. This little filter is in the pump that's on the end of the burner. This is more protection for the pump. So if you're not getting it by this time, they want to kind of protect the pump because the pump is a couple metal gears and it's lubricated by, you guessed it, the fuel oil. So if you run your furnace without fuel oil, you're starving the furnace, you're making it start to buck and puke before you completely run out of oil, you're plugging your nozzle, which is a very sensitive uh, nozzle that makes the atoms for the fuel oil to burn properly, you're plugging your pump filter, you're plugging your oil filter, and you're putting all that garbage down to where you're gonna plug your tank valve eventually, and a service man's gonna have to come out, hook up what looks like an old bicycle pump to the tank, and blow back the line. Two ways to avoid these problems. Have your fuel oil provider add a substance to eat the sludge and burn water there are additives out there that work. We use a couple great ones. We have them for sale. You can buy them from us or just have your oil guy sell them to you. That's one. The other is make sure at a quarter tank you're ordering your oil. That way it'll hit the oil and won't drive down in to mix it up. When it's driving down into a tank that's dry, it's just agitating all that garbage. It looks like phlegm and mixing it in with your oil. You're never, ever, ever going to have complete combustion and enjoy your oil-fired furnace like you should if you don't use your head. And again, like I said in, in other, like I tell customers, if you didn't have the money to buy the oil today, how are you going to have the money to buy it tomorrow and replace parts and have a service call and have to restart the furnace? So the point is, borrow the money from whoever you would once you're out and get it done before you're out, all right? Thank you, have a great day, God bless.